With abortion access restricted across the state of Texas, leaders from neighboring states say they are seeing even more women seeking help in their facilities. Now, New Mexico's governor is pledging to build a abortion clinic between those two states. I want to get over to Chris Sadegay this morning. This is a multi-million dollar decision that, as you might imagine, here in the state of Texas, getting some pushback. Oh, yeah, and there's a big push in New Mexico to open up a clinic there near the border. We found out about this yesterday on the one year anniversary of the most restrictive abortion laws that took effect here in Texas. New Mexico's governor, Lujan Gresham, plans to use $10 million to build a clinic that would provide abortions near the Texas-New Mexico border. Grisham said New Mexico is seeing an increase in patients coming to her state since the overturn of Roe v. Wade, and a new clinic near the border would help those women making that trip. We spoke to one of those women. She's from Dallas, and 16 weeks into pregnancy, she found out that her baby that she'd already named Ava had anencephaly, a fatal def defect that would cause her to be born without part of the brain and skull. The mortality rate for infants with this condition is 100% within the first year. Yet this woman whose identity that we are protecting still had to go to New Mexico because she says the law in Texas made it too difficult to get the help and care she needed. It wasn't fair. Like, the fact that my doctor couldn't help me, he was afraid to help me. The fact that I couldn't do this with my family. I couldn't even go to a hospital. I had to go to a clinic. And this new clinic in New Mexico could just be the start. Some Democratic lawmakers there have said they want to keep increasing protections to abortion for their state in their next legislative session. So that's something we will have to keep an eye on, something that will affect women in Texas. Well, and I can imagine, too, when you get New Mexico talking about building an abortion facility right on the Texas border, that's going to cause some political friction between the Texas governor and the New Mexico governor. Yeah, it, it most definitely is. And also, there is some pushback in the state of New Mexico. Like most places, the abortion debate is being used as a key point in many of these state races for these elections we'll see in November. The Republican challenger for the governor's office in New Mexico, Mark Ronchetti, he said that state funds should not be used for out-of-state abortions. And he's proposed a law that would limit abortions to the first 15 weeks of pregnancy in New Mexico. Right now, there is no limit on abortion when it comes to length of pregnancy. All right, thanks, Chris, for the update.